Hello and welcome everyone to this third part of the wrap up Edwards Life Science Mitral and Tricuspid Valve Therapies at this year's edition at PCR London Valves. My name is Philipp Lurz from Heart Center Leipzig and I'm very happy to be joined today by Professor Nicole Karam from Pompidou Hospital in Paris. She's a real expert in the field and she will help us to summarize and understand the latest developments in transcatheter therapies to treat tricuspid regurgitation using the Edwards Transcatheter Trilogy, an exclusive portfolio of options to treat tricuspid regurg. So the aim of this session is to understand the challenges and needs regarding tricuspid valve therapies, learn about how the Edwards portfolio can help us to deliver the therapies to our patients we want to, and to develop an understanding of patients' outcomes using different technologies. Without further ado, I'm going to ask you, Nicole, to present to us, please. Thank you, Philip. So indeed, I'm going to go through the Edwards uh, portfolio for treatment of tricuspid regurgitation. So it's a very rich one because we have the edge-to-edge -edge repair. We also have the annuloplasty. So to start, I would go with, through the Pascal ACE system. The Pascal ACE has a very nice device, very optimized to be safe for the tricuspid valve. So as you can see here, we have a netromatic clasp design, which allows several clasping at the same time without really worrying about the consequences on the leaflets. It also allows independent grasping, so it can be either used to, to facilitate the grasping, but also and mainly to optimize the results. Because with this kind of device, now we can allow ourselves to really get excellent results and not just accept what we can have easily. And then it has the possibility to elongate. And this elongation is very important because if you are not satisfied with the position of your Pascal ACE, then you just can elongate it and get out of the ventricle and then reposition safely and without any risk for the cordae. If we look at the clinical results, now we have this study at six months and what we can see is that for patients who were like, uh, most of them were in uh, TR grade uh, four uh, severe, very severe patients. If we look at the end, at discharge and then at uh, six months, we can see that we have 78% of the patients who have a TR that is uh, below severe, that is moderate. And if we look at the EROA, we see that the results are good either at 30 days, but also they still improve at six months. And it's the same for vena contracta. Now, if we look at the translation with the clinical translation, which is the most important part, we can see that our patient will benefit, whether it is on the NYHA class, we see that more than 80% of the patients are going to be in NYHA one or two. And it's the same for six minute walking distance and for the KCCQ score. So obviously the patient do benefit whether in time in terms of tricuspid regurgitation or in clinical terms. If we look at the real field experience, and here we have a study coming from Germany and Switzerland from eight centers. And what we can see at one year this time is that the results are really maintained and we can see that uh, more seven than 77% of the patients will have a TR grade of one or two. And similarly, will have an improvement in NIH, NYHA class. Uh, what's impressive is also the technical success, which is of 98% and the safety of the device, because what we can see is that the single leaflet detachment, uh, de device attachment is very rare. And um, if we go more specifically to the Pascal ACE sub-study, and here we have 86 patients treated with the Pascal ACE, we have a technical success of 99% this time. And again, we have a very impressive result regarding the TAR severity grade. And again, it seems safe enough. So very nice results for Pascal ACE and for edge-to-edge -edge repair. But we also have other devices. We have the ca cardioband results now. So the cardioband, as you know, is an annuloplasty device. And it's a lot, it can improve uh, the aspect and the functioning of the annulus and improve the co-optation more import importantly. And we can see the real-time results on echo during the procedure. So this, this time, if we look at the results again at 30 days, and this is uh, confirmed by the core lab, we can see that we have an imp a, a very impressive improvement in TR grade. 78% of the patients will have at least one TR grade reduction, and 85% will have this result at, f at 30 days. So as we, as we saw with edge to edge, we'll have results that will still improve over time after the procedure. 
And again, this translates into clinical advantages as we have an improvement in NIHA class and also in the clinical scores. So in conclusion, if we look at the Pascal platform portfolio, we have the option to offer our patients either edge-to-edge -edge repair with confirmed and maintained results at six months and one year. We have the cardio band, which is the possibility to have a, uh, an annuloplasty, a direct annuloplasty. So that's the overview for me. I'll hand it over to you, uh, Philip, again. Nicole, what a fantastic presentation. Thank you very much. Um, I have one question for you. Looking at the variety of tricuspid valve anatomies, how important is it to have different approaches to treat different patients? Oh yeah, definitely. It's very important because we cannot imagine that we'll have one device that will cure quite everything. So uh, it's true that we do function with uh, more than 90% of patients that we treat have functional TR. And here we have different sizes of, uh, of, uh, of annulus to address. We also have different types of co-optation. It's not always easy to have a patient with a nice cooptation to just say okay I'll cure everything with it and with an edge to edge or an analoplasty will be enough so I guess we do need to have a large portfolio and we really need to be able to offer different devices to our patient according to the specific anatomies. Fantastic I could not agree more so dear colleagues to summarize you've seen the great performance in terms of safety and effectiveness using the Pascal device for leaflet therapy, one of the work horses at the moment in clinical routine to perform transcatheter tricuspid valve therapies. We've seen that one of the main reasons for tricuspid valve regurg annular dilatation can be tackled specifically with a device to reduce annular dimensions using the cardio band. With that, I would like to thank you again, Nicole, for joining us. I would like to thank Edwards Life Science and this program was brought to you by Radcliffe Cardiology. Enjoy your Congress at London Valve's PCR 2021. Thank you. <laughs>